Welcome back to Vlatflix. Today I wanted to make for you 10 different really popular and delicious cocktails that you don't need any juices or any mixers, only alcohol. But before we start, I wanted to ask you only one thing. So uh, if you're watching this episode and haven't subscribed yet, please do that right now. So we're gonna start with Black Russian. Put a large cube of ice in a double rocks glass. You need uh, three quarters of an ounce of Kalua liqueur. Next, we need one ounce and a half of vodka. I'm gonna be using Sky, but uh, you guys can use any brand that you have at home. Stir it with a bar spoon for like 10, 15 seconds. And enjoy your Black Russian. Also, if you already made a lot of them and want something new, try to just uh, replace Kahlua with Jägermeister cold brew coffee. Next, we're going to make uh, another delicious classic cocktail, martinis. So we'll need gin, one ounce and a half, three quarters of sweet vermouth, and only one quarter of maraschino liqueur. Now you need two dashes of Angostura bitters, but you can find multiple recipes, one saying that it should be classic, another saying it should be orange. So for this video, I use the traditional Angostura bitters. Now you have to use exactly the same bar spoon and stir it for like 10, 15 seconds. Use chilled cocktail glass and strain it with the julep strainer. And for garnish, we need just one orange zest. Let's make it pretty and cut on each side. We actually made a pretty cool tutorial on what you can do with the simple orange zest, so I'm going to leave a link for you guys to check it out. And now just uh, twist it on top of the drinks, get some oils and toss it inside. Next, we're going to make classic Negroni. So for this one, we'll need one part or one ounce of Campari, one part gin, and one part of sweet vermouth. If you mix in Negroni at home, of course, you can just mix it directly in a serving glass, but I really like to use a mixing glass and stir it for a little bit. Take double rocks glass from freezer, put large ice cube and strain it. Yep, still using the same orange and we need another zest. Squeeze some oils out of it and then just put it inside. And enjoy one of the most epic drinks ever. And now let's make an old fashioned. On top of sugar cube, put a few dashes of Angostura bitters. Now you need to smash it in a glass and if you don't have muddler, you can use bar spoon, but I'm still gonna use muddler. Add just a little bit of water or soda water. Make sure that sugar mixed really well with bitter and pour two ounces of uh, pretty good quality bourbon. I'm gonna be using today rabbit hole. Thank you so much guys for sending this bottle. Put large cube of ice and stir it with a bar spoon for like 20 seconds or so. Make sure that it mixed well because we used sugar cube and not demerara syrup. For garnish we need maraschino cherry, pretty good quality and orange zest. And now I'm going to enjoy probably my favorite whiskey drink in the world. Okay, let's make next Boulevardia cocktail. And if you never made one, it's pretty much the same like Negroni. You need one part of Campari, one part quality bourbon. And again, thank you to Rabbit Hole. One part of sweet vermouth. I'm gonna put a few pieces of ice and stir it. Now just take double rocks glass, put large cube of ice, and using julep strainer, strain it on top. Oh, and you're welcome for this satisfying sounds. <laughs> Still using the same orange, cut one large zest, one maraschino cherry, squeeze it and put both inside a drink. Next on our awesome list is gonna be Rob Roy. So take uh, two ounces of scotch whiskey. I'm gonna be using Glenfiddich. Next, we need three quarters of sweet vermouth. And two dashes of Angostura bitters. Put a few pieces of ice and stir it. 
now strain everything into the chilled cocktail glass. Not using orange this time, so we'll need just one maraschino cherry. Few more to go, but let me know what you guys think so far. Another pretty cool drink and also really easy to make, Godfather. So I'm gonna be using two ounces of blended scotch whiskey. Now we need amaretto liqueur, but keep in mind that uh, sometimes recipe saying it's 50-50 with whiskey, sometimes need just a quarter, so this time I'm using three quarters because I like it that way. Add ice and stir it. Double rocks glass, cube of ice and strain it on top. Next classic cocktail also gonna be with only two magic ingredients, so we'll need double rocks glass, one cube of ice. Again, we pour in scotch whiskey, just this time single malt, and we need one ounce and a half. Second magic ingredient will be jambouille liqueur, and we'll need three quarters. Uh, just in case if you're not familiar with this, it's the blend of scotch whiskey, honey, and some herbs and spices. Hope you guys notice how cool is my bar spoon with fairy on top. <laughs> Simple but absolutely delicious. You guys have to mix one right now. To mix Sazerac, we'll need mixing glass. This cocktail is so good and I really hope you guys still here and watching. If you are, you absolute legend. Instead of using sugar cube, I'm just gonna use one spoon of simple syrup. Now we'll need three dashes of facial beaters and two dashes of Angostura beaters. Yeah, I know, but this is not it. Wait for the coolest part. We need good quality rye whiskey. There's actually a few different recipes of Sazerac and you can use just two ounces of rye whiskey, but we're going to mix half and half rye and brandy. Put a couple pieces of ice and mix it well using this fairy bar spoon. <laughs> Double rocks glass, but before we strain our cocktail inside, we need to take absinthe and spray a little bit inside the glass. I could use spray actually, but I wanted to show it to you just in case you guys don't have spray at home but still want to drink Sazerac, so you can do it this way. As you can see, I got rid of absinthe and now just strain it inside without ice. So that's how you're supposed to serve it. And I think this is first time today, but actually we need lemon zest this time. So squeeze it and then just toss it in. I really hope that by now you have all the ingredients in front of you and ready to mix this magnificent cocktail. I'm gonna start preparing next cocktail, but can you just guys make sure that you already hit the like button and subscribe if you're enjoying this content. For Manhattan cocktail we will need mixing glass and I will use rye whiskey, but you also can use bourbon, so two ounces. One dash of Angostura beaters and three quarters of sweet vermouth. So I already showed it like 10 times how I stir drinks. Let's just skip this part and strain into the chilled cocktail glass. For the garnish, we'll need to use maraschino cherry. So you have done that multiple times as well. Just put it inside and your Manhattan is ready. Thank you so much guys for watching this episode. I really hope you can also check out the best channel on YouTube. Okay, hold my camera and follow me on TikTok. And I will see you in the next epic video.